Thank you for tuning in to Devotions. Okay, this week we're talking about serving Jesus Christ by serving others. This is important, really important. Look here, serving others is not popular today. Oh, definitely not. Bible told us the last days this. Look with me. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. <laughs> this fits our day. I understand this, that in the last days, there will come times of difficulty. Here it is. For people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy. Have we ever seen a day like we have today. Remember, everybody has a platform. People are promoting themselves. Remember, Jesus told us, don't promote yourself as a Christian, but to deny yourself. Or you see it on these selfies. You, you heard me say in church, I see these selfies people put online, like they're models. They don't even look, they put in filter, even men, men are using all these filters. You know, you, you don't look like that. <laughs> Come on, we just look the way we look. So, uh, you know, we, we, we got to know in our heart that we're living in the last days. We, don't follow those people. Don't do that. Look, how do you become less selfless? It's real easy. Look, I want you to notice here, because happiness consists in giving and serving others. This is so true. You know, you have all the money in the world. It's not going to make you happy. You can be famous. It's not going to make you happy. You, know, you have the spotlight on you. I'm telling you, just as many people will take you down that will praise your name. Look at Mark chapter 135. Here's the secret. Jesus showed us. It says, now, rising very early in the morning, while it was still dark, so probably before five in the morning, he departed and went out into a desolate place, and there he prayed. Right? So here's Jesus. He's God. But in order to have the power and the strength he needed for the day because he was in human flesh, he spent time alone with his Father in heaven every day. He prayed. Okay, Simon and those that were with him, they searched for him. They found him and they said, hey, everyone is looking for you. I don't know if, as pastors, we get that all the time. We're we're like, look, we just got to get away from people a little bit. We need to get alone with the Lord. This is where the power is. This is where the strength is. Listen, you want it? Become a better servant, have a servant's heart. You got to spend time more alone with God. The more time you spend with him and his word, the more you become like him. How true this is. It is. You put that statement somewhere. Spend more time in prayer. Spend more time in his word. You'll become more like him. I, I make it a habit, not only reading the word, but I mean, chapters and chapters and chapters every day of the Word of God. I have it read to me with some music there on that app, Dwell. Why? Because I, I, I just want to think about the Bible all the time. I want to think about the Word all the time. The power is in the Word. More time you spend with Him, more time you spend in His Word. The Bible says more you will become like the Lord Jesus Christ. When you serve more, you want Less. I, I remember this, my son, Randy. You know, he wanted to live. Oh, he did. He wanted to live. He did everything he could to live. But he just served God more and served others and served God and served others and served God and served others. And I witnessed this. And when we went home to be with God, there was just something that came upon me. And I realized that I am embarrassed. I am embarrassed embarrassed about anything that people like about me, you know, if it would be what I own, what I run on the side, I, I don't want to be that person. I, I like the old Pastor Mike, <laughs> you know, the humble guy that came to Pittsburgh and slept in a shack. I like that guy better. Look, serve him, live for him, Humble your heart, as Pastor Sam said. Have a servant's heart. You'll be glad you did it for all eternity.